Now last year was the biggest year in terms of airdrops. People made anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000, even $100,000 in just airdrops alone. And that has left many people curious as to whether or not there will be any other opportunities like that this year. Well, I went looking and I found five airdrops or rather five potential airdrops that has a huge potential of being one of the biggest airdrops this year and i'm going to share with you all those airdrops you can find the link to the entire playlist in the description of this video obviously some of these airdrops are testnet airdrops just like this one which means you don't need money to get started so we're going to dive into more details with regards to everything you need you can find all the timestamps in the description of this video if you want to jump to a certain part of the video just know that watching the entire video does help this channel grow very fast. So let's get started. So in order for us to really get started with this test net, let's first come to um, L2Bit here and look at the TVL with regards to all the layer two scaling solutions. If you look at Arbitrum here is obviously leading the race and they also do not have a token. So I think they will be having an airdrop very, very soon. The second one is DYDX. They did have a very successful launch and the airdrop, some of the people actually got about $100,000 in airdrops. But what we want to focus on is ZK Sync with a TVL of $82 million. So you can see that they will most likely be incentivized for them to launch a token and do an airdrop. Not only that, but also when you look at Boba Network, they already have a token. And when you look at Loopring, they already have a token. When it comes to Optimism here, they do not yet have a token. That's also another airdrop that I believe is going to be coming up in the future. So one of these airdrops are going to be one of the biggest airdrops in 2022. So let's get started, obviously, by using this test net over here. So for that, I'm going to switch on to this tab. And you need to go to zksync.io. When you're on zksync, you should be able to see this banner here on top. If you don't, just come to portal.zksync.io. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, or I'm just gonna zoom into this specific link here so that you can come directly to that link. If you're just accessing this website for the first time, they will ask you to add a network but i already have a network which means i just have to switch from the network that i'm currently using if i can just exit out of that i just have to switch from the network that i'm currently using which is the binance and obviously switch to this one so i'm going to click on metamask and switch networks and you can see i have successfully switched the network let me go ahead and refresh this page now you can see I am in the platform. But if you're just doing this for the first time, you won't be able to have all these assets. So what you need to do is obviously come to the faucet over here. So come and click on this page and request faucet. So I'm going to click on that and it will say faucet requested successfully. The next thing is to go to your wallet. Now, the very tricky thing here is that you have to have the testnet Ethereum in order for you to get started. So you may have all these tokens here, but if you don't have the ETH that, you, so you may have all these tokens here, but you don't, so you may have all these tokens here, but you don't, but so you may have all these tokens here, but if you don't have Ethereum, you won't be able to do or follow along with what I'm doing in this video. However, if you go to their Discord, you'll be able to get, uh, obviously I'm gonna leave the Discord in the description of this video. And also I'm gonna leave this article here, which is a great article by this author here. So go ahead and read that so that you can have a basic understanding of what exactly is happening or what is the ZK Sync Zero Knowledge Rollup. So it's very imperative that you don't just chase airdrops. However, you're educating yourself with regards to the development of blockchain and cryptocurrencies because very often when these airdrops do hit your wallet you'll just sell your airdrops not knowing what those airdrops could potentially be worth in the future so it's very imperative that you take your time to understand the technology behind everything that we're doing here and don't just be someone who is chasing uh, airdrops all right so what we have to do in order for us to get this ethereum here obviously like i said i'm going to show you here let's get started with the faucet so what we're going to be doing is requesting uh, ethereum testnet faucet and obviously for this specific testnet over here as you can see when you come to the wallet that's the testnet i'm actually running here on the top so what you have to do i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video go to these links and request the testnet ethereum on this one you have to compose a tweet or facebook and just take your tweet i'm going to go ahead and just copy this 
and come back here to the faucet and obviously you can just follow along with all these steps here already done it so what you have to do is come and paste your url over here and then obviously request and i'm gonna go ahead and request and it may not be successful which is the reason why i'm actually providing all these other options so that you can use all these options for you to request so let's use the next one here which is this one here what we have to do is to come obviously i'm going to leave all the links in the description of this video so come here and actually paste your address so i'm going to go ahead and claim this and when i do refresh here on this page you can see now it says token already claimed but obviously it may take a while for those tokens to actually hit my wallet the next thing we're going to move to the next one and obviously just try out all these platforms here so i'm showing you all the different options that you have you can also you can also use this one over here just come and pick the testnet that you're looking for and paste your address and like i said it's very difficult for you to get these uh, testnet airdrop but you can also use all these i'm going to leave all the links in the description of this video and this and this is the last one and i'm also going to leave that in the description of this video however if you do not succeed on getting these ethereum testnet tokens what you should do is to come to discord and actually come and interact with the guys at zk sync so just come and click on that and i actually read that if you use this platform here you don't need the ethereum testnet so you can actually follow along with everything that i'm doing in this video without having those ethereum testnets however for that you'll have to come to the zk sync discord group i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video to go directly to that group so that you can obviously go and ask questions there and ask for those tokens and they will give you all the step by step that you need to follow so once you've got that sorted out i'm going to come to zksync.io again link in the description and i'm going to go ahead and say try it i already have my metamask and i do have some tokens but obviously like i said the first thing you have to do is to request four sets so once you requested those four sets then you have you know a positive balance the next thing you want to do is to click on deposit so basically when you're depositing you'll be depositing the testnet ethereum that you got from requesting on all those websites and once you got that you want to come here and deposit it to the platform so what i'm going to do here is you can just click on max and maybe just deposit 0.8 Zero one, and I'm gonna click deposit. Let's switch networks. Go ahead and approve that. And you can see the deposit was actually successful. Now I can click on back to balance. The next thing that you want to do is to do a transfer because if you actually come to this testnet guide, like I said, you can also find this in the description. You can see that the next thing you have to transfer. So you're going to transfer from one address to another. So let's come back to the platform over here and I'm going to click on transfer. If I did have your address, I'll just transfer some of this Ethereum to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of my address from the other side. So I'm going to come to my wallet over here and actually copy my address. And come back to this page and I'm going to transfer just a portion to this address over here. I'm going to click on max, but I want to transfer the entire thing. I'm going to 0.1 and I'm going to transfer this. Now you can see that everything was done successfully. Now let's look back to the tutorial. And obviously here it says you need to go ahead and withdraw. You can see here it says withdraw, but obviously when you come to our platforms here, because this has been updated, we don't have that withdraw button. So which means we just need to move on to the next step. And that will be to use now this very same network, but on a different test net. So let's click on that again i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video or you can just follow along on this article over here so now that we're here you can see that our wallet is connected over here if you come to my wallet you can see all the balances that we have here so the next thing is to swap our tokens i do have a lot of usdc so i'm going to click on that and select another token which is in this case it can be let's say ethereum so i'm moving my usdc to ethereum so i'm just gonna click max so that i can get more of this ethereum and you can see how much i'm getting obviously this i don't think it's accurate in terms of how it's calculated anyway 
uh, because you saw that over here I have 600 but here it's giving me $28 which is crazy um, anyway let me go ahead and approve this I'm just swapping this for Ethereum because having Ethereum here is very essential anyway the next thing that you want to do is to obviously come to pools over here so basically what you want to do is to provide liquidity I had already provided liquidity earlier on okay you can see that I do have a farming position so what I want to do here is to provide liquidity so I'm gonna click on add liquidity and hopefully I can find a different uh, liquidity pair or something like that let me try these two I want to go ahead and supply you can see everything was done successfully that's great so I'm gonna exit out of that and now you can see that we did that successfully and obviously I can go ahead and add more or remove so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove 100% of this and approve so like I said after you're done swapping you just have to come and provide liquidity and basically look for a specific pairs in this case I want to make sure that I use ethereum and die because I know these ones do work so I'm not gonna do max because like I said you still want to have funds for uh, basically transaction fees and basically go ahead and supply that so that's all that you need to do but like I said this is on a test net the next important thing to do is obviously to try this on the main net and actually bridging from layer one to layer two solutions which is what I'm going to be showing you on the next video where we're going to be bridging funds from ethereum layer one and actually put them on zk sync and actually use zigzag exchange so if that video is up on a channel it should be showing on the screen right now go ahead and smash a like on this video and I'll see you on the next one goodbye